What if I told you that on one day, one man would not only predict, but present the future? Things such as Zoom, Gmail, Word Docs, and more, decades before any of them became a reality. Despite this, almost no one has heard today about this event, which is a tragedy considering its importance. So, let's shine some light on this turning point in our history. An event dubbed the mother of all demos. The man at the center of this demo is one named Doug Engelbart, a computer engineer born in Portland, Oregon in 1925. After serving as a radar technician in the US Navy during World War II, Doug brought his knack for innovation to the civilian world at the Stanford Research Institute in 1957. Doug was part of a surge of inventors returning from a life of using their knowledge to defeat an enemy to one benefiting mankind, an ideal interestingly put by American academic Fred Turner, who said, The American military had developed technologies with which it might destroy the world. In its wake, scientists and technologists had begun to fan out across the globe seeking to use their knowledge to eradicate disease and increase food production, often in an effort to win the Cold War loyalties of Third World nations. Engelbart had read about these efforts and saw that they often backfired. Rapid food production led to the depletion of soil. The eradication of insects led to ecological imbalances. This philosophy of righting the wrongs of others was a guiding principle for Doug, who focused vastly on improving man's ability to interpret and navigate mass amounts of data. At the Institute, Doug recruited a dream team of scientists to form the Augmentation Research Center, or ARC for short. Doug and Team ARC worked relentlessly to turn computers from very limited number crunchers to a universal tool that anyone can use. And their work had big backers. Both NASA and the Advanced Research Projects Agency, or ARPA, provided funding for the work done at ARC, seeing the vast potential of it. One day while the team was working, ARPA's director Robert Taylor said, It's time. Let's show the world what you can do. The team had been researching and developing a plethora of potential life-changing inventions for over six years. And now, the time had come for the mother of all demos. The date and location were set for the presentation. December 9th, 1968, at the Fall Joint Computer Conference in San Francisco's Civic Auditorium. Around 1,000 computer engineer experts were reportedly in attendance for the event. ARC sent their leader, Doug Engelbart, along with a small team including famous computer engineer, Bill English and they descended upon the foggy Frisco. They had only 90 minutes to generate buzz and garner interest from the attendees. And so, with this pressure against them, Doug walked calmly onto the stage and presented what they had been working on for six years. And in doing so, he changed everything. During these 90 minutes, Doug introduced the world to the computer mouse video conferencing, teleconferencing, email, hypertext, word processing, dynamic file linking, and collaborative real-time editing, all back in 1968. It was the first time that an integrated system for manipulating text on screen was presented publicly. When he finished presenting, the crowd was so overtaken with amazement that they gave him a standing ovation for what he had shown them. They realized they had witnessed history in the making. But, despite this transformative event, the world did not immediately get FaceTime, Google Docs, Gmail. So what happened? Well, much of the technology shown was actually improved and implemented soon after. Things such as the computing system, editable windows, and computer mouses became normal functions within a decade. The more advanced things, though shown to be possible, still needed ancillary technologies to catch up before they could even become a reality. 
It took 26 years before the demo retroactively received the name Mother of All Demos in a book by journalist Stephen Levy in 1994. Doug Engelbart retired in 1986 after an illustrious career with almost 50 patents to his name. Despite this, he's mostly an unsung hero in the world of inventors, his name not often mentioned with the likes of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. But it is his work and the work of his team at ARC that inspired both these men when they founded their companies. And so, it's my hope with this video that more people will know the godfather of the computer era. I'll end this video with the guiding philosophy of Doug. Focus your career on making the world a better place. Any serious effort to make the world better will require organized effort that harnesses the collective human intellect of all people to contribute to effective solutions. If you can dramatically improve how we do this, you'll be boosting every effort on the planet to solve important problems. The sooner, the better. Computers can be the vehicle for dramatically improving this capability. Wise words to live by. Thank you for watching.